Hi, this is Ron Ball, and I want to welcome you to Choose Greatness, your key to a happier, greater, better life. I know that you're excited about God's possibilities in your life. You want a great family, a great life. You, like everyone else, want to be happy. Well, God's principles are the secret of a happy, better life. And to understand those principles, Choose Greatness offers you information that can make a difference in your life right now. This is an opportunity for you to grow and grow and grow into the expanded life that God intends for you. Jesus said in John 10:10 10, 10, that He has come that we might have life and have it more abundantly. I love the word abundantly. And I know that's what you hunger for as well. Now, we're hearing from so many of you, and I want to encourage you to continue to contact us through ChooseGreatness.com. We welcome your comments. We welcome your views. We want to tailor this program to meet your needs every day. And also, remember to let people know about this program. Remember to spread the word. Use social media. Get on the phone. Text. Call. Call everybody you know and tell them Choose Greatness is on the air again and they cannot miss a program. Now, we're doing a series of programs on spiritual warfare, on winning the war for Jesus Christ in our culture. And the emphasis, the core meaning and purpose of these series is to help you understand how to win, how you can be equipped, that you don't have to be intimidated or threatened or frightened or uneasy, that you don't have to give in to the pressures to compromise your Christian beliefs, that you can build a network of protection around your children and to help us do that training and give you that equipment, I have a special guest again today, Tim Wildman, the president of the American Family Association. Now, if you're not familiar with AFA, we're going to give you a way to contact them, a way to understand what they do, and I guarantee that you as a mom, you as a dad, you are going to be super excited about this organization because they are on the front lines of the war. They are fighting for you, and this is is an organization I'm personally familiar with. I know their staff, I know their leadership team, and I heartily endorse them, and I want you to know more about them. So our guest again today is Tim Wildman. Tim, God bless you. Hey, Ron. The president of the American Family Association. Now, if you heard our previous program, you got a bit of the history of AFA, mm -hmm. but I want you to know more than history. I want you to know what they are doing today, because there are organizations like AFA and Choose Great that exist for one reason, to help you win the war, build a great life, and do the will of God, to help protect your family. Now, I know that when you started, when your dad started a number of years ago, Tim, he had a vision, a passion for guarding families from some of the bad content on network television. Yeah. Well, we have a lot more than network right, television right, today, right, and right. I want you to tell us uh, how your organization monitors movies, the internet. Yeah. What are you looking at today for today's children and today's families? Well, again, the, the fundamental concern is what uh, media, for example, are being used to influence uh, our children, right? and reach the children of America to, to change their hearts and their minds, to influence their hearts and their minds. So the Bible tells us as Christian parents and grandparents, we're to help guard the um, hearts and minds, right, uh, right. Our, the souls, if and you will. And guard is a powerful word. Guard is a powerful word. We're responsible. We're responsible. At least as long as the children are under our care, we're responsible for what they, right. uh, you know, what they take in. Uh, what they consume as much as we possibly can be. So uh, you take that and apply that on a broad general scale to our country and our country's children. And what's the next uh, generation going to think? How are they going to behave? How is this? How is their worldview going to be changed by what they see, hear, and read? So that's we. That's kind of the reason we do what we do. We care about what, what's going on in our yes, only in our homes individually, but what's what's going on in our country to in terms of what's acceptable. Because and all this bad information is being pumped in yeah. by the media and well, children are exposed to it every day. Well, we see what's happened in the area of human sexuality. You know, we've just seen an explosion of, uh, uh, you know, you can't, you, it, 
Lucy and, and, and uh, you know, on the Lucille Ball show, remember that? They used to have separate beds back in the, <laughs> back in the 50s. So Lucy and our, our you know, uh, her husband, I'm forgetting what. Anyway, the I Love Lucy show, it's very popular, but they wouldn't even show them in bed together. They showed them right. in two beds. Well, may, that may be a, a little extreme the other way, you may say. Uh, they were married after all. But uh, then that changed to, you know, human, with sexuality, it's anything goes. Well, well, now, you, let me, let me yeah. interrupt you and ask you a yeah. question. This is very important because your organization monitors movies. Right. You monitor uh, television. You, you right. know what's out there right. because you are careful to And now pay the Internet has changed And the Internet, everything. which has yeah. dramatically uh, opened the door to yeah. sexual experiences yeah. for even young children. Yeah. Well, tell me what you think the state of America is right now as regards to morality and sexuality related to children and teenagers. Well, Let's focus on it's that. It's really a challenge for the Christian parent today, especially when it comes to those issues you just mean, because the, the culture is just telling them one thing, and that is uh, that's counter to what God says, right? Mm -hmm. And we mentioned spiritual warfare at the top of the program. Many, uh, many of the uh, of the Hollywood, uh, you know, entertainment industry, the music, uh, the movies, uh, so many of the television programs, mm -hmm. you know, they 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 teach a completely different uh, worldview when it comes to sex than does the Bible. You know, the Bible tells us that sex is for marriage, right? And outside of marriage, it's destructive. Well, the world says no. If, you know, go for it. Mm -hmm. Anything goes, and we see how it's impacted our young people. You've seen an explosion of sexually transmitted diseases. You've seen uh, the problem with abortion that we've been talking about for many, many years now. Hopefully, we're seeing a trend back against people having abortion, more of a respect for uh, the unborn. Uh, but uh, we, we, that's that's really is still an ongoing challenge in our society. Well, now, do you do you agree that the future of America? hinges on how we reach these children and teenagers now. Oh, absolutely. Do you, you think that is a critical battlefield? Absolutely. And I think there's still hope. I think there's still hope. But, uh, you know, it, it starts in the home, right? It starts with the Christian family. We have to do our job to raise our children uh, to respect the Word of God and to live by its principles and then go out and impact the, the larger culture. So it's it, you got to start at home, right? We have to start well, at home. Well, let me ask you to do yeah. something for us. Our, our yeah. viewers are filled with a lot of moms and dads who watch yeah. during the day because our program is aired on Mondays and Fridays and we're during the day. Right. And so you are um, going to speak to a lot of people who are at home and have children, maybe in school or at home, maybe younger children. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you say to moms and dads who are using the television maybe as a babysitter, the internet as a way to entertain their children. What should they look out for? What should they care about? And just talk to our audience for a moment. Tell, tell, tell these well, moms and dads, talk to them just for a moment about how they should watch out for what their children watch. Well, I'm no expert uh, like Dr. Dobson or somebody like that on child rearing. I mean, I, mine are raised. They're, they're <laughs> raising their own now, so I did something right. Yeah. But I will say this. Uh, as a parent, you have to you have to be aware uh, because especially with the internet being what it is today, it's the wild wild west. And so uh, you know, it, it t t television too. You have to know what your kids are watching. Uh, you have to be an engaged parent. You can't be a disengaged parent because I can assure you, the devil, the Bible says, is seeking whom he may devour. And the younger he can get children hooked on pornography, for example, or or, or even get into things that are mm -hmm. satanic or witchcraft and things like that are very much prevalent on the and internet. And it's out there, and it really it, is. It's very much on the internet. Well, let me interrupt and ask you yeah. a question. Why does it matter that we guard children sexually when they're young? Because why, God why says it, it does. Uh, because God says that we're responsible uh, for, the, for the hearts and minds of our children. Uh, and so we're to be protective of them, to help protect them. Now you can't protect people from everything. Someday they're going to be exposed to the ways of the world, but they're going to be hopefully spiritually mature enough to make the right decisions or to, as you say, choose greatness, right, to, uh, to overcome those things or to be, have enough discipline in their lives to deal with those things. But when they're young and they're impressionable and they're immature, then it's the role of the parents to guard, as we said earlier in another program. 
and that requires uh, knowing what's going on. So you uh, think parents should definitely? I know be, parents that won't engaged. even get their kids a, a smartphone <laughs> till you know because they're worried about. Well, I've you know, seen you know I've seen seven, six and seven year old children with smartphones, yeah. which is not a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you you've got to be. You got to be responsible, and you got to well, be engaged. Well, now let's look at media again, just for a moment, because yeah. that's your area. That's yeah. what that's what that's what you're really engaged in. Right. Um, I want to I want you to listen carefully because I know that your children uh, have their own playlists they listen to. They have certain artists that uh, they are entertained by. Uh, I remember a couple of years ago, I was listening to a song on uh, XM as I was driving and uh, a very popular singer, Katy Perry, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the song was very catchy, and I honestly was not paying much attention to the words, the lyrics, mm -hmm. and uh, she was doing a song, I think, called Teenage Dream, and um, I, I just was just kind of rolling along and listening to the melody and the beat and not paying much attention, and suddenly I became aware of what the song was saying. It was about teenage sex, mm -hmm. and it was actually encouraging young teens, 13, and 14 to go ahead mm -hmm. and have sex. Mm -hmm. Now, they're not ready for that. Mm -hmm. I mean, God says no anyway, they're not yeah. married, but they're not even emotionally mature enough to understand those issues. Um, tell, tell me tell yeah. me what you think about that. Well, the, unfortunately, the, 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 the entertainment industry, you mentioned Katy Perry and, and singers like that, most of them, not all of them, but most of them, if they're, if they're worldly, okay, then they're gonna be promoting values, they're going to be promoting their own set of values which are going to be contrary to the Word of God. That's just the way it is. You're talking about uh, unre unrepentant people or mm -hmm. unregenerated people, so they're going to be communicating that kind of a message in their song. That's also what's appealing to young people is to be rebellious, right, against, <laughs> against their parents or against God or against society. Uh, may say is something is right and something is wrong, then they want to take the, the wrong side, unfortunately. Um, so, but you're talking about the influence of people like that, uh, these celebrities, these singers, and what they say. And uh, if they're saying things and they're preaching things in their songs or in their television shows or in their movies that are contrary to the Word of God, then we need to, we need to be aware of that and to, as much as we can, especially for our children and our grandchildren, help them steer clear Well, of up, those up until just uh, about two or three years ago, the uh, entertainer whose stage name, this is not a real name, but her stage name, Lady Gaga, right. uh, she had more followers on Facebook than anybody in the world. Mm -hmm. And so this is enormous More influence. than you? <laughs> we're close, we're okay. close. Okay, well, I need but, to write up there. We're, we're close. Okay. But uh, this is an enormous challenge. And so what I want you to do as a mom and a dad, uh, I'm not saying that you should just come walking in and totally take over your children's life and not even discuss it with them. I'm not encouraging uh, some heavy-handed, dominating, uh, forceful approach like that, but I am saying that you are responsible for what your parents, what your children listen to as a parent. And you need to be aware of what they are absorbing, what they're taking in, because this is molding their worldview. And whatever their worldview is, mm -hmm. please remember this, that will generate behavior. And their behavior, if it's not godly, will damage them. You love your children. Mm -hmm. You love your children. They are precious to you. But if you allow something of this nature to damage them, then it's your children who will pay the price for those bad decisions. So when we together say you should monitor mm -hmm. media, mm -hmm. you should monitor media, that is one of the first things you need to do to protect your family and protect your children and even protect yourself. Now, I want to raise an issue and mm -hmm. I want to get your thoughts on this because you're out there in the front line, you're fighting mm -hmm. the battle for us and mm -hmm. thank you very much. And we're, we're grateful for what you're doing, Tim. I really mean that, we thank are you. grateful, we need you. Sure. So what I want to look at now is another issue and this not only affects teenagers, it affects a lot of dads in America, and that is the, the nationwide pornography epidemic. Mm -hmm. Now, do you ever deal with that issue? Oh yeah, yeah, that's been, well back to when it was just print, 
you know, back in the 80s. The, the Playboy era. <laughs> so, well, Playboy and Penthouse and those magazines, right. we, we had an issue with 7-Eleven, and we were able to get them. Oh, the, the convenience stores. Yeah, the convenience store chain. We were able to get them to stop selling. Now, weren't they at one time the biggest seller they were, of photographic uh, they were, magazines they in the were, country? They were, and, and we were able to get them to stop selling them. In How'd the, that happen? Store. What did well, you do? Well, we, we told people to quit shopping at 7-Eleven. <laughs> did to, you hear that? Yeah, till, till, they, till they quit selling the, the pornography. So, uh, so in other words, one. you had Christians vote well, well, with their why, pocketbooks. Yeah, why, why patronize a store that's going to sell that kind of material in your community? And you got response and you got to got a that. response. 4,500 stores uh, quit selling the uh, magazines. This is back like 86 or 87, right in there, uh, prior to the Internet, which changed right, the world right. when it comes to uh, sexually explicit material or pornography. So, yeah, we've been dealing with that because that's, that's something that uh, affects the soul, right? And something that affects your attitudes toward women, at least mm -hmm. for men. And we live in a hyper-sexualized world today. It's, you can't go to the convenience store without a magazine right in your face, right? Or a, we have parents who call us and say, you know, I can't go to a, uh, the shopping center uh, because, you know, I walk up in the Cosmopolitan's at child level and it's got explicit things on there. So we live in a very hyper uh, sexualized society but what it potentially does is you know we have a lot of people call us and ask us where can people they can send people who are hooked on this stuff who are who are addicted very, they're addicted it's very very addictive uh, uh, there's been studies done on this about how addictive it is because it affects the uh, the brain I'm talking about uh, pornography so uh, the devil uses this to get boys and men in particular but it affects women too hooked and get some uh, destroys their life oftentimes. Well, one thing that um, that we at Choose Greatness and my team, when we do right. Choose Greatness rallies, right. sometimes we deal with these issues. In fact, I spoke at a convention in Grand Rapids, Michigan just recently. We had 6,000 people and I was praying for weeks, Tim, on what to speak to that, what to say right. to that many people. And I felt in my heart that God was directing me to deal with these issues. So I did a whole seminar for almost an hour in front of 6,000 people on all the things that damage and threaten marriage and family. And one of them was pornography. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that came out of my research was this, that pornography is three things or does three things. It damages, number one, because it is artificial. It creates an artificial sexual world that, that real women, wives and moms can't live up to. Mm -hmm. So it creates a, a great deal of dissatisfaction in a marriage. Mm -hmm. Second, it is abusive mm -hmm. because it mm -hmm. puts women in a position where they are used sexually and um, abused emotionally. And then third, it's addictive, the word you right. just used. Right. Now, you've got your AFA journal. I know mm -hmm. sometimes you have yeah. articles that deal with these issues, don't yeah. you? Yeah, we do. Uh, because, you know, the purpose is God calls us to live holy lives, right? Uh, be ye holy like I'm holy, the Bible says. Now, we fail as Christians sometimes to live up to that, but that should be our standard, right? We should want to please God with our lives, uh, morally and every other way. So we do deal with that in our American Family Association Journal, trying to give people resources and helps and uh, things they can do to help, you know, enhance their that's spiritual what you, life. That's yeah. what you exist for. Exactly. Well, now, exactly. T tell, uh, now, people are watching the screen, the American Family Association, AFA Journal, tell them again how, how to get it. If they don't have it, how do yeah. they get your journal? Well, you can go to our website, afa.net, afa.net, and uh, subscribe there. You can get a free six-month six subscription. Just tell them that. That's half a year. Yeah, That's yeah, good. A free six-month subscription to the AFA Journal so that you can see what we're doing, what we're about. Or you can send us an email, comments at AFR. And AFR net. stands for? American Family Radio. That's our 200 station, our 184 station radio network across the country. American Family Radio. So comments at AFR.net and just request your free uh, AFA journal for six months so you can see what we're doing. Because, you know, it's not about us per se, but we're about the only organization, we're one of the few, I'll just put it this way, national Christian oriented organizations that are doing something to, to, to fight for the Judeo-Christian value system in the culture. And in the um, media. And in the media, because we only have one country and we don't want to lose it. So we need, we don't want to lose by default, right? <laughs> we, if we don't show up for the game, we're certainly going to lose. Well, and, we and this involved. AFA journal is important. I want all of you to, um, to get this because I get this journal. Now, I want to give you a real compliment. 
my my wife reads your journal <laughs> and she is very right. selective <laughs> she uh, she respects it a great deal my wife awesome. amy loves your yeah. journal cannot wait to get it i think you've had a uh, you even did a promotion of my Choose Greatness book a few yeah. months ago in the FA Journal, yeah. which uh, you did a very, you very right. nice job and a nice picture of the book in there. Thank you very You're much. You're welcome. But this um, journal is well worth your time. You should contact this organization and get the American Family Association AFA Journal. I strongly encourage you to do that. Now, you, uh, your son Wesley, whom I've mm -hmm. met, right. uh, has an outreach to millennials. I think he does. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, d don't you have a special? Um, yeah, it's called special Engage. Engage. Tell yeah, us about that. Engage and uh, well, millennials, uh, you know, they. Uh, it's a, it's a tough world out there for the Christian in, to reach millennials because they are confused, quite frankly, and they, you know. It, on the one hand, it's good because they're thinking and asking questions maybe that previous generations did not or took for granted in terms of their Christian values. So they're wanting to know why is it real, why is it true, the Christianity I'm talking about. They're asking good questions, asking good but, they, questions. but they need good answers. Yeah, but if they don't get good answers, uh, so we're trying to work through the engage, uh, what, what we call engage, and go to the ministry to engage. Now, can people get that also? Yeah, yeah, just go to engage. Uh, it's on your screen. Yeah, go to engage. And what you can do there is read, uh, it's a free ma free literature, free magazine for Christian millennials. Uh, and by millennials. the way, for yeah. those of you who don't read a lot, th his journals that, that, that you produce are mm -hmm. really pretty easy to, to understand. They're, they're, this is yeah, not we, complicated we uh, high-end stuff. This is the <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this, this, this is uh, We make it bite-sized. Right, okay. exactly. This is resource right. information right. Is, that, that anybody in your family right. can benefit from. This isn't How Then Shall We Live by uh, Francis <laughs> Schaeffer, which is a great book, but it's f long and hard to very, read. Very, we try very to detailed. condense things uh, down each month so that people can grasp them and understand them And it them doesn't easily. take a long time right, to read right, your, right, your material. Right, right. But, you know, it's all about changing culture, and it's all about preserving our freedom, our liberty, our Christian values, those things that we know, we know for a fact, time-proven values that make America uh, great, have made America great in the past and will preserve us in the future if we return to them. Now, I want you to really, again, focus on what Tim's saying. This is an organization, and I've got Tim on for a series of programs because you need to know about them. You need to know what they do and why they do it. You need their help. Your kids need their help. This is a group out there fighting for you, fighting for your kids. But remember how this also relates to the purpose of this program. This show is called Choose Greatness, Your Key to a Happier, Better Life. Now, it's been a long time since I've explained how our title originated. And Tim, I don't even know if you know this, but I'm gonna I'd explain like to, to our it. viewers again. Yeah. Uh, this is a fascinating insight because uh, we had an opportunity a few years ago to, to come up with an idea. This is about four years back, but we needed a title for the movement we wanted to start. We needed something. So we prayed. My team and I prayed for God to, to show us what to do. And I talked to a friend of mine named Scott Rasmussen, who is a pollster. And mm -hmm. by the way, Scott, one of the best pollsters in the yeah. United States on Fox News all the time. Very well Scott's known. going to be on our program. We have him scheduled this winter. So uh, in a few weeks, so he's going to be coming on the program awesome. and uh, he's going to be participating. But Scott and I were having a discussion about uh, people under the age of 35 who were voting in American elections, but they were voting for uh, candidates who did not really support the American free enterprise system for socialist candidates who uh, wanted the government to do everything for everybody, which is not the American way. Right. Uh, it it uh, squelches individualism. It squelches individual opportunity. If the government gives you everything, the government can take everything away. Mm -hmm. That's something I think you agree with. Mm -hmm. Well, Scott and I had a discussion about this, and he said, Ron, what I want you to know is we do exit polls after presidential and um, national elections. And we have been learning something that really is alarming. It's what Scott told me. He said, we've been learning that young men and young women are voting and choosing socialism. They're, they're actually picking it. And when he told me that, I thought, wow, they don't understand what makes a great country. Mm -hmm. And so that's how Choose Greatness was born. Because the whole idea of greatness, and who doesn't want a great life? Amen. I mean, who doesn't right. want a great right. life? Even you do, right. right? Right. So who doesn't want a great life? You do, your kids do, but here's the key. You cannot have a great life unless your life is built on great principles, and the great principles are God's principles. 
They're God's principles. That's where greatness comes from. Now, if you want a guard to greatness, the American Family Association is in that arena. They guard greatness for God, and they guard the minds and hearts of your children, your teenagers, your young adults. Now, we're going to talk about this some more because I have some questions about what's happening with particularly young adults in this country that we're going to have to delay for the next program because we're just not going to get there today. But what I want you to do today is I want you to go to the website. You can see it on your screen, AFA, American Family Organization, uh, .org. AFA.net. Or .net, .net, yeah. .net pardon me, yeah. .net, thank you, .net. Mm -hmm. Uh, and you want to make sure that you find out what these people are doing. Now, let me give you a little bit of a warning here. There are some negative things about you on the Internet. Really? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> but they're from people who are not godly. Right. And so they're trying to actually come So if you click on... American AFA. Family Association. Yeah, you, you may they, find some things We're called said, names called and names, things. Called, yeah, 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 that you hate yeah. people and all that. Right, right, But right. what I want you to know is they're saying that because of spiritual warfare. These are the good guys. These right. are the good guys. These are the people fighting for your family. So go to their website. Go to afa.net mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. make sure that you uh, learn what this organization is doing and make sure you get the AFA journal. I get it. I read it. You already know my wife reads it. Yeah. And uh, this will give you a good resource, good articles, good information, well written in a very easy to understand approach that will help you uh, find the equipment you need mentally and spiritually to help guard your family and guard your children and even help your marriage. It's really good stuff. Now, I also want to explain something that I mentioned in the previous program. We're offering you an opportunity to go to choosegreatness.com today and order an audio set called The Success Test. Now, I only mentioned it briefly on the last program, but why am I encouraging you to get The Success Test? I have done this program in front of tens of thousands of people in business conventions. It's Bible-based, but it really gives you a way to understand what you need to work on. Do you need to work on organization, discipline, attitude, positive thinking? What do you need to work on? This test reveals it to you and then tells you what to do to create success for you and your children. Great set. So order the success test and make sure you get the book Choose Greatness. Go to choosegreatness.com and order Choose Greatness, the book, and the success test, the audios. We're going to have Tim back on. Keep tuning in. Tell all your friends and remember to choose greatness.